Namaste everyone. My name is Keith Mitchell and it's a pleasure to be here 2021. The new millennium, the new paradigm. So much is happening in the world. So much is shifting. Can we shift with it? Can we move with it? And not only can we move with it, are we ready to be on the forefront of this transformation that the world is experiencing? So what I want to do with you today is just begin to breathe in and honoring the opportunity that we have to participate in this, this historical event. This historical event has always been here. This historical event is your life and the blessings and the opportunities that we get to bring and share our gifts to the world. And with that being said, just take a deep breath, breathing in the nose and out of the mouth. We'll do that two more times. Breathe in the nose and out of the mouth. And one more time, on this last one, you're gonna breathe in and you're gonna hold it at the top. Just hold it, hold it to whatever expression you feel to let it all go. <sighs> Just simply release and empty all the excess toxins, the excess doubts, as you find yourself in your comfortable seated position or laying down or however you choose to experience it. And just begin to focus on the breath. Focus on the breath in the nose and out of the mouth. And if you need a visual, the idea is think of your stomach rising on the inhale and descending on the exhale. And all you're going to do is just focus on that. And as you get comfortable breathing, notice how you can make your breath a little bit more gentle, a little bit more softer. And as you're thinking about that, see what happens when you allow the breath to move through the body bringing your attention to the various places of your body, like your shoulders, circulating around your heart, your internal body. And typically we don't think about the correlation of that internal body to the psychology, the pathologies called our emotions <laughs> and some of the attachments that we have with it. As you're breathing deeper, I want you to think about the liver the liver contains the emotion of anger. And so as you breathe into this space of your liver, just think of your liver and just think soften, relax, and let go. And as we journey over into the kidney, the kidney holds the emotion of fear. The realization that humans will always probably have fear more or less because we've lived with it for so long in our life. But as we begin to create this uh, idea with fear, we begin to dissipate it by not attaching to it, not allowing fear to hinder me or stop me from doing what I choose to do. We breathe into it and allow the things, the blockages, things of that nature to simply dissipate and let go, breathing into your kidney. And since we've created that movement in the, in the belly, as we think on the inhale, the stomach rises, creating that circulation into the intestines. The intestines hold the emotions of worry. And as we breathe into the emotions of worry, we we'll allow ourselves to let go and release. Breathe. And now I want you to take your attention to your heart. And as we started, because the heart is a very gentle, sensitive construct, and the heart resides love, and the heart resides grief. In a lot of cases, we've lost a lot of things. And as you breathe into the heart, I want you to think of just softening in the heart and the lungs hold 
the emotions of grief. And as we breathe into these areas, we can just soften, soften, release, and let go. Breathe. And as you breathe and focus on these ideas, notice what begins to release for you. Notice how your body begins to be a little bit lighter. Things begin to relax and be a little bit softer. And just simply observe that feeling. Observe what it means to be deeper in my breath, more intentional. We breathe naturally. However, when I become a master through my meditational practice, I begin to realize how I can control the narrative with my breath. The breath and breathing deeper from the diaphragm is a pattern. So as I breathe with an intention, I realize I begin to be the master of my process. Through this experience, we begin to process things a little bit better. The ideas of randomness begin to dissipate. The pattern of intention begins to require a lot more substance than randomness. As I breathe deeper, I begin to process things to articulate myself specifically to how I feel. I begin to build this emotional maturity that I love to talk about in the various ways that I share the practice. I begin to expand my emotional maturity to be less reactive and again, more intentional. Breathe. And just as you focus on that, notice how you feel. Notice the tension releasing any resistance. Notice it, how it begins to dissipate by just putting your attention to these areas. Your thoughts, your words are powerful. And when I can use these attributes, these tools to work for me in different ways, I become a master through my process, breathe. And as you're breathing in this place, no matter how you're sitting, just begin to allow yourself to be as safe and secure as you choose to be. Notice the thoughts. Notice the thoughts going, passing, but realizing that you don't have to attach to the thoughts. And if you want to attach to the thoughts, attach to the positive, constructive parts. Typically, we tend to hold on to the negatives, to the doubts, and to the fears, and so forth. But hold on to the positive, constructive thoughts if you choose to attach to anything. Allowing the, the things that no longer serve you, just allow those to just move, move about, move about, and let them go. Breathe. Bring your attention to your feet and think of your feet as something that's been with you, holding you down for your entire life, your entire existence. And as you bring your attention to your feet, just in honoring what your feet and how they have served you, just acknowledge your feet. Bring your attention to your knees and acknowledgement of your knees for allowing you the mobility on a day to day. Bring your attention to your hips, your lower back that support you, that support you to stand up for what you believe in. Bring your attention to your heart that allows you to give and receive love on a day to day basis, honoring your heart. Bring your attention to your palms that allow you to give and exchange the dynamics of, you know, their extensions of our hearts so they, get, they allow us to give the exchange on a day-to-day -day basis. Bring your attention to your throat. They allow you to speak your truth for what you believe in, to share your gifts to the world. 
bring your attention to your third eye that allow you to see things with a new perspective, a challenged perspective, an improved perspective. And bring your attention to the crown of your head, the embodiment of it all, the acknowledgement of it all. I am that I am. And not even just from a cerebral perspective, but I am the doing, I am the being of that. So in my day-to-day -day actions, it doesn't just show up in what I know in my mind, but it shows up in what I do, how I move, how I navigate the world. And if you feel good enough and you feel free enough, open your eyes as we begin to come out of this meditation. If you choose to put your hands into prayer, thumbs pressed against your heart, and just honoring your participation embracing the new, embracing your power, embracing the idea that you can show up in a big way in the world. One big inhale. Exhale. Namaste.